here with a problem that can affect any vehicle. Any vehicle. Okay, we're going to go through and we're going to tell you what is wrong with the vehicle first and foremost. Okay, it has no taillights and no brake lights with the headlights on. So, what the hell is going on here? Sonoma. We're here with a problem that can affect any vehicle. Any vehicle. Okay, we're going to go through and we're going to tell you what is wrong with the vehicle first and foremost. Okay, it has no taillights and no brake lights with the headlights on. So, what the hell is going on here? Come on back, Mr. Cameraman. Let's go on back here. Show them the taillights. Currently, marker lights are on, okay? I'm gonna hit the brakes. No brake lights, okay? Now, what happens when I turn the headlights off? Do we now have, Mr. Cameraman, do we now have lights back there? Okay, good deal, all right? Headlights on, they go away, all right? Now, what happens when we turn the signal on? What happens? Hazards. Get the both, hazards. Both rear tail lights light up. And it's brighter on the left side, isn't it, than it is on dimmer. the right. Dimmer. It's dimmer on the left? Okay. And it's brighter on the right. But the fact is both tail lights light up. Okay. All right. And uh, what was the other weird one? The hazards shine real dim. And then, all right. Actual hazards shine pretty That's dim. Actual hazards, no lights on? They shine really dim. Okay. With then I just turned the marker lights on. Did and it them? now they're just blinking really slowly. Okay. All right. So, having been a mechanic for I don't know 25 years, this is an, a, a dead indicator of a bad ground. Okay. Classic bad ground symptoms okay I, we checked this last night it was dark out i got up under with a flashlight trying to find it couldn't find anything wrong in the back disconnected the trailer connector so we could isolate that and make sure that there wasn't something going on something got pinched or, or shorted in that that didn't affect anything factory harness back together same same problem Go on front. so in an effort to diagnose this problem uh, quickly you need to know try to start isolating and looking and locating your crowns uh, on this particular truck there's one here on the bulkhead okay and there's another in the front of the battery okay I don't know if you'll be able to see it up in there or not probably not but you can follow there's a big ground wire that goes over to the engine and there's a small ground wire that goes to a ground point on the front on the uh, core support uh, all those checked out they appear to be tight didn't appear to be broken so but, but sometimes things happen, especially if you live in the northern climates and you're running a lot of salt and you end up with a green death, which I, I've watched several videos on a good old uh, South Main Auto. He, he has green death out the wazoo. Um, but what, one thing you can do is you can take a pair of jumper cables and go from your negative terminal and go to the ground points and, to make, and clip to them if you can. And this will make sure that you do have a ground. To your chassis okay um we did that nothing changed we also took our ground went over to the end for the main engine ground to make sure um to make sure it did have a good ground um that wasn't the problem so we went on since the, pro the main problem seemed to be in the back we went in the back and i got up under it with my flashlight and uh Mr. Cameraman, Phil, hand me the camera. I'll go up under and I'll show them if I can with my flashlight what the problem is. Oh, Y'all hang on, guys. We're going for a ride. All right, let's see. This, whoop, it would be nice if you could see that right there. Ooh, that light's getting you. Let me back up a little bit. All right, you can probably see it now, but this right here, that wire was uh, 
part of the trailer towing. That's where they tied in for the ground for the trailer. And uh, let me go up, we're gonna go back up front here real quick. You know, just hang on. And we're gonna talk about what the actual problem was and what happened. All right, so the problem is, and this is why I hate these. These are called scotch locks, which scotch locks are quick. They can get you get your lights working really fast. And you know, this was somebody used to connect the trailer ground and splice in for the uh, chassis ground so that the trailer lights would work effectively. Well, to a point, yeah, if you're in a hurry and need to get it done, that's all fine and good, but scotch locks cause more problems, I think, than anything else. Here's one that hasn't ever been used, and uh, no, no, don't know if you're familiar with them, but you take them, lay your wire in here, and gently take them, close it up and take a pair of pliers and squeeze this little metal guillotine and that metal guillotine goes in and uh, pierces the insulation and makes the connection. Um, these have caused numerous problems because they allow moisture to go up inside. They're not sealed in any way and then they corrode or in this case, like th what happened here is they actually broke the wire. So. The main thing to keep in mind is when you have your lights, or anything for that matter, that just goes acts bizarre and it's just doing crazy things all over the vehicle, you can almost be rest assured that it's a ground problem. So, thanks for coming to the Real World Garage today. I hope that helps you out somehow, somehow some way. And remember, when you have an electrical problem, it's almost always the grounds. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. All right, sir. Tail, tail lights first. Boom. Tail lights. Brake lights. Boom. Turn, sir. You have the key on. Turn signals. Left turn signal. Boom. Ground repaired. Later.